Okay, it's doing a video here. We have now programmed the ECU for extremely lean operation. We've had it this way for the last like 6,000 miles. Um, you can see we're going, we're cruising right now at 40. The speed limit here is 40, 45. But what I'm trying to show you here is if you look over there on the left hand side, the air fuel ratio is 19.6, 19.7. And our amps are 77.5, which is a little over six liters per minute. And of course we do have throttle adjustment on this unit. But uh, the reason for this video is uh, we've actually programmed the O2 sensor to not work on this vehicle because this is an OBD1. So if anybody understands computers and understands narrow band versus wide band, that the narrow band will only work at between 14 and 15 to 1 air fuel ratio. So we've deleted that. I know it's illegal, but this is a test vehicle, so we have a permit for that. But uh, what, what I'm trying to explain to people here or show is with a lot of hydrogen, you can run the engine extremely lean and not have any issues with misfire or, or any of that. Um, also, this is the EGTs which are only at 700 and of course you know 700 six something right in there but to when we're cruising normally with no hydrogen it would be around 1100 on at about 55 we're down at 900 so of course a lot of that's due to leaning the engine i know you get gains by leaning the engine but the the thing is with the amount of hydrogen and the quality of hydrogen we're putting in there we're not losing any power. Now I'm at a standstill, as you can see, we're stopped, I'm getting ready to take off. And I wanna just show you, there is no acceleration loss at all in this vehicle. And you know, I mean, there's a little, if, if you're really in the light throttle, but uh, with the hydrogen being introduced, we're, we're not really having a loss. And here we go, I'm gonna step on it. As you can see, we are accelerating. You can probably hear the engine. We're at 19 to 20 to one air fuel ratio. And you can look, we're accelerating. Okay, and I know a lot of mechanics are like, oh, that's too lean, that's too lean. But, you know, I'm stepping on just a normal throttle. And look, we're already at 50 miles an hour. So, I just wanna show people what we're doing with this technology. Um, this is one of many test vehicles. Um, we have another one like this in another state that's doing the same testing. Um, we have increased the fuel economy 60%. I mean, this Suburban's only supposed to get about 11 miles per gallon in the city. We have gotten that to 15. And on the highway, we are, we are at 22 to 23. I know that might not sound very impressive, but this is a 1994 four-wheel drive Suburban. And if you look up, the um, miles per gallon in this city versus highway, you'll see that these things are only getting a top of about 15 to 16 at the very best. So, again, now we're coming up to a stop sign. You can see the vehicle stopping. Um, of course, the amps go down because we are throttle, uh, we got a throttle positioning circuit on this. And again, we'll step on it just like normal. As you can see, we got plenty of acceleration. We're at 19 to 20 air fuel ratio. I mean, you can see the speedometer, it's climbing. And I mean, it's not just climbing slow. We're, we're going pretty good. And of course we have a vacuum gauge there and the O2 swing reader, but of course we deleted the O2. So now we're capable of doing a lot more hydrogen, but we're just doing testing very slow on this vehicle. See, we're already at 50 miles an hour, no power loss. But anyways, I just thought I'd do a video on this to show what Central Valley has been doing. Um, have a good day.